Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much uh, for being here. I'm going to be uh, relatively brief, but I'm, I'm here and I want to acknowledge I'm here with uh, our great sheriff, Frank Bova, as well as uh, all the folks you, he you see, uh, men and women from our sheriff's department. We're here to give some updates about the community policing initiatives uh, that we've impl implemented in the last uh, couple years. We've tried to make uh, public safety a real priority. We, for the first time in the history of the county, we have, we have a public safety master plan and community policing is a big uh, part of that. Um, one of the things that uh, we've emphasized is, is actually our bike unit. It was established in July of 2012. It's been a big asset, especially when we have big community events, which we're having more and more of uh, downtown. We have uh, actually two bikes are currently assigned for as part of our impact unit that we have. Um, they're going to be very active, uh, of course, during our busy 4th of July weekend. We also are, are responsible for uh, really what's, what's called uh, NBI or Northern Border Initiative, and, and we have to remember that uh, Cleveland, uh, there's an international border that we are adjacent to, and we have a federal responsibility, and we get some federal funds to help us maintain security on our, uh, on our northern border. Uh, and that includes, uh, of course, everything that we border with Lake Erie, but it goes uh, out to a border that we share with Canada, uh, 25 miles uh, offshore. On any given day, there's hundreds if not thousands of boats on Lake Erie and we've seen that traffic continue to increase in recent, uh, recent years. What, you're, what you'll see here today is our Marine 2 Challenger 350 uh, patrol boat. We've maintained this vehicle again since uh, September 2012 because of something called the Port Security Grant Program and that is administered uh, by FEMA. It's about 35 feet in length it has uh, infrared and state-of-the-art sonar, radar, and other detection devices, and it's part of uh, the equipment and the resources that we bring to bear when we deal with these uh, issues. It's also going to be on duty with its crew uh, for the 4th of July this weekend, um, and you're going to see it throughout, uh, throughout this busy, busy summer. Again, I want to I thank uh, the whole team at the Sheriff's Department, Sheriff Bova in particular. Uh, we're going to continue to put resources into public safety and doing things like reducing the backlog that we had uh, with our warrants, increasing our sex offender verification program. We also started a program uh, called SAVE, which is Str Strategies Against Violent Encounters. This is teaching uh, individual, individuals, especially uh, women, uh, basically self-defense uh, techniques. We've had uh, a number of these kinds of workshops. We've done them all over the county and they've been very successful. Let me give you a few statistics before I turn it over uh, to Sheriff Bova. Our impact unit, which is really the first of its kind in Ohio, and this was at a time when a lot of sheriff's departments were cutting back on personnel, we added personnel. Uh, we hired more sheriff's deputies and we put more of them out into the community uh, and set up this impact unit to not just do our, our day to day functions that we do every day in the Justice Center, but actually get out there in the community and be a partner with local law enforcement. Um, and their, their results have been outstanding. That includes 172 felony arrests, 289 misdemeanor arrests, assistance with 171 active warrants. Folks, those are folks, those are people that have warrants, uh, active warrants out for them and they need to be brought into custody so that they don't endanger other people. Um, and responses to over 20, over 20 heroin overdoses, which unfortunately this community has been affected by the heroin crisis like the rest of Ohio has been. Um, and that's just, the, that's just the tip of the iceberg, what they've been working on. So we're very proud of the investments that, that we've made. We're going to be ready for this 4th of July weekend. And with that, I want to turn it over uh, to Sheriff Bova. And then we're going, to share in, we're going to swear in some of our new deputies as well in a moment. But at this point, I want to turn it over uh, to our Sheriff Frank Bova. Sheriff? Thank you, County Executive. All law enforcement in Cuyahoga County continues to work together to provide a safe community in which to live, work, and play. The technology and tools have changed dramatically over time. We are using these tools and initiatives, like the impact unit, the boat behind me, the bike patrols, not only to show our presence, but to react to the urgent issues of the day. We are here to assist our fellow law enforcement partners. Community outreach, sex offender verification, and warrant reduction are part of our day-to-day -day duties. But these tools, we are doing even more. We will be assisting other communities all throughout the 4th of July weekend, including the city of Cleveland and some of our uh, inner ring suburbs with their special events. 
We need good men and women to make these initiatives successful. Today we add 10 more to our ranks and we'll be adding more as the year goes on. The County Executive Ed Fitzgerald has spearheaded the drive to bring communities together by sharing resources like law enforcement. The County Executive will now swear in our new deputies. Gentlemen, you ready? Raise your right hand, please. Aye. State your name. Aye. Do, Aye. Solemnly swear Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America, the Constitution and laws of the State of Ohio, and the laws and ordinances of Cuyahoga County. And to the best of my ability, will discharge the duties of my office. Will discharge the duties of my office. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Um, I think we're going to turn it over. To, I, I do want to just say for all the gentlemen here, uh, congratulations. We're very happy to have you here. I know you have some family members here. Uh, this is a very proud day for them as well. And so uh, uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, moment before uh, you get back to work. But I, I appreciate the families coming out there. It's, as somebody that was in law enforcement for a few years myself, it's really important. The, these guys are going to need you in the years to come. They've got a stressful job. They've got a difficult assignment. They need the full support of their family. I know you're going to give it to them. So I'm very glad that you were able to be here today.